everybody! Welcome back to Resinette. Today we're going to be trying to make a like a beach themed tray out of some crushed glass. And one of the things that I have um, that I'm going to do is I've got some crushed glass here that is kind of a silver color. Um, most of this all came from Michael's, all the different crushed glasses I'm going to be using. And I am going to dye this with some alcohol inks to make it kind of a color um, that I don't have already, okay? So I'm gonna take some Pixis Sky Blue and I'm going to add a couple drops in there and um, find a popsicle stick here. Got that, Let's see how they look. Okay, got some. They're kind of just kind of sticking to some some colors and not all of them. But it's kind of a kind of actually a sky blue. Okay, and now I'm going to take a drop of mint green and add to this maybe two drops. do see a little bit of a hint of green in there. Tiny, tiny hint. I'm going to give it just one more drop. So I think that's about the color I want. And I'm going to let it sit here and let those kind of um, dry out together. Another color that I want is white. So I'm going to add a bit of this. Just It's just literally like clear there's no silver or color to it at all, but I mean, it's kind of a white, I guess, but. I don't, I'm not gonna use any pigment paste. I'm gonna use this um, Pixis alcohol ink white, okay? And that going. I'm gonna do maybe, I don't know, I just did like maybe six or seven drops in there, I think. So that's a little bit wider and that's about the color I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour both of these colors out onto a paper towel so they can dry um, completely before we use them, okay? And then while well, I've got those set aside to dry, I will come back with the next step. Okay, I'm back with my next step and what I'm going to do is I've got some resin made up here. I'm going to go ahead and just divide this into the three cups kind of in the areas that I'm going to have them be, I believe. The center one is probably going to need the most. And then a bit up here for the top. This mold I'm using here is, um, gosh, I'll have to go back and look. It's GNS is what's stamped on the mold. I'm pretty sure I got this from Etsy, but it probably would have been maybe about two years ago, and I just... Um, really kind of forgot I had it. So I'm kind of excited to use this today to see how this works with this project. What I'm gonna do now, is this is kind of one of the parts that I'm kind of unsure about, but excited to see what happens, is I've got some Let's Resin Chameleon powders, okay? This one's teal, that's gonna go here in the middle cup. This one is golden, that's gonna go here in the lower cup. And then I've got this um, blue, that's kind of a purpley blue, and that's gonna go here at this end of my beach scene. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix a little bit of this in each of these cups. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit in here. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. I just want it to be enough to kind of give it a shimmery background and the main reason I'm doing this is to put a coat of a thin coat of resin over my tray before I get started so that my crushed glass doesn't damage my mold. Okay, well that's actually really pretty. It has kind of a red and gold in there, do you see? Kind of a gold bronze color. Okay, and so now for the next one, we're gonna do the teal. That's actually a really pretty teal color. So now I'm going to be putting a couple of scoops of this 
in here. It's a bigger area, so I'm going to do probably a couple scoops. We'll see if that's enough. Okay, yeah, I think that's very perfect. A little translucent, but that's okay. I just want the basic color. Okay, and so the last color will be this blue. Again, just a really beautiful color. I don't have very much of this, so there's not very much resin in this cup down here, so it's not going to take a whole lot. I think I might need just a tad bit more in this one. This one's actually looking a little lighter than my teal, and then I don't want that. Okay, I think that's better, okay? You see it's really kind of a richer blue now, okay? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that all of my um, mold is clean here. That anything that could have flown on there is gone now the this we are going to be making this tray from the bottom up okay so what we're looking at here is actually going to be the bottom of our tray and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start up here with this dark this is, should be the darkest of the blue with the purpley color I can go in and wipe that out here and then I'm going to come in here with my golden come along down here along the bottom Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just kind of a, a base and a protector, and it's going to add some vibrant colors here to our beach scene. Okay, now I'm going to take the teal, give it a quick stir. Come in here through the middle and kind of fill this in and let these two colors just kind of run into each other. And this is going to be pretty good because like I said before, I just want it to be enough to cover the bottom. Okay, I'm not looking for a thick, I don't need a thick layer for this part. Okay, so I've got a bit more blue here. I'm gonna come in and pour the rest of this in here. Much, looks like I got pretty much all of that together here so now I'm just going to take my craft stick and kind of spread this out want it in all the corners this is kind of a maybe a geode shaped big tray mold I want these kind of blended here don't really need this part blended as much. It's okay if this just comes and meets each other. Kind of gives me a beach line here. Ok, 
Okay. All up in these little edges. Okay, it looks like that's just enough to kind of cover everything. Okay. Our blue out here maybe a bit. Get this to kind of combine with each other. Okay. Now I'm just going to let this kind of do its thing. I'm going to um, spray a bit of alcohol ink. Or alcohol ink. Gosh, every time. I just spray a bit of alcohol here. And then I'm also, since I've, I always, well not always, but a lot of times, will use a tray like this when I'm doing my work so that um, one is so that I can easily move it over to my curing rack and so if I want to start another project. But another thing that's nice is that I can kind of I can kind of guide my paint where I want it to go. I mean my resin. So I'm gonna kind of tilt it and let my beach kind of run down a little closer to beach. Okay more like that so I had more in mind so so far everyone gosh it's looking beautiful and this is not even <laughs> this is not even our project I'm gonna let this cure and then when this is done I will come back with the next step all right so exciting I'll see you guys all in a little bit okay I'm back just really quick to say that um, for the deepest part of my ocean I was looking and the darkest color I had was actually the black crushed glass. And I decided I didn't want black out there. I wanted a dark blue. So what I did is I tried to see if I could mix uh, my sapphire blue, my Pixis alcohol ink sapphire blue with the black to see if anything would happen. And amazingly, it didn't even matter that it was black. It took on the new color, which was the sapphire blue, just really easily. So um, that part did work. I would say that was a success with the, with the blue, you can see. And I'm gonna be laying this out now also to dry. Okay, see you then. Hello everybody, I'm back. And this is not completely, completely cured, but it is really like firm, sticky. It doesn't, um, the resin doesn't bounce back up with my stick. There's no string there, so it's firm enough for what we need to do next. So what I'm gonna do is I've mixed up some resin. I'm gonna pour just the thinnest, tiniest little layer, just barely enough to cover um, the whole bottom here, okay? And I'm hoping this turns out like I'm picturing. I haven't done this before, only played with this little um, crushed glass just a little bit. But I got this idea for this tray and I think it could just be so beautiful if it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this all out to all the corners. Okay, so now this is pretty much spread evenly around it. I'm gonna spray with just a bit of alcohol here. I'm not too worried about bubbles. So we're gonna cover all this up anyway, but. Okay, so what I'm gonna start with is I've made up different colors of, um, of my crushed rocks. Some of them came that color, some of them I've dyed with alcohol inks, and I laid them all out flat, spread it out on um, the parchment paper, the ones that I did with the alcohol inks, and so now they're all dry. And um, now I am going to start with this one. This one I did in kind of a sand color. I used a couple of different inks until I just got the shade I wanted. And I this started out as um, this color. Okay, this was just like a clear, started out like that, turned to this. So I'm going to start just really, I want just a really thin layer, just thin around here, because I still want to have a resin, um, I want to be able to put a top on this, okay? So 
So I want it not to be too full, but I'm going to kind of try to follow my color lines here a bit. Okay, I've got a little bit here. I need to fill it in. I have to spread that out a bit. Kind of a bad angle to try to get in there to it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to take my craft stick here and kind of spread these out a bit. That's why, one of the main reasons why I wanted the layer of... Um, of resin down first, not only for my colored background, but also to protect my mold from these little crushed glass shards, okay, because it can definitely um, scratch it. Get back over here. Okay, so there's that. And I had thought about maybe placing a starfish in here somewhere. I'm not placing many things that wouldn't um, that's not just the crushed glass, but I thought maybe just a couple of things. Uh, let's see, a starfish. You think just one starfish? Maybe, huh? And then also, I thought maybe just a couple of seashells here. These are my tiny little vase filler, aquarium filler uh, seashells that came from Amazon. Some of them tend to be bigger than others, so I'm going to pull out the bigger shells and just sprinkle in just a few of these shells. Okay. Maybe a couple more over here. There we go. Okay, I think that's about all I'm going to do on that. Um, the only other thing I can think of that I want to do on my beach is maybe add just a tiny bit of sparkle. Okay, so I'm going to put just a couple of the of these um, glass shards, just sprinkle a few through here. Just a few. Okay, so that is our beach line. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to really carefully, you know, actually I'm going to take off my gloves for this part. I am going to, um, I want to make just a little bit of a wave line here, okay? So I'm going to see if I can maybe do this. Whoops, don't want to spill them all here. I'm going to have to do some of this by hand, I think. Don't know. I'm just going to kind of drop them here, I think, hopefully in a line move them as I need to. Don't know, maybe it would be easier to pour. Don't know. I'm kind of learning as I go along with this first attempt here. Over there. Oops. Got something out there. Actually, maybe it would be easier just to go really slow and just pour it, huh? Try that. Okay. I think we'll start with that, okay? Let's scooch a couple of my rocks over here a bit. Check my other resin. Yeah, it's getting a bit warm. Okay, so now next we're going to do the turquoise color. Okay, again, I'm going to kind of follow this little bit of a turquoise here. I'm just going to kind of shake my cup back and forth. And it seems to be working the best. Okay, now we're going to move to this kind of this medium light blue. Maybe our next little section here. There we go. Some of this looks kind of taller, so I'm going to switch this over. Some of these pieces look a little 
fatter, a little bit bigger than some of the really finer crushed glass. Hey, how's everybody doing? Are these sticking with me here okay still? Okay, scooch some of this over before my resin starts curing down there. Okay, looking pretty good, I think. Okay, now this was our dark um, sapphire blue. I'm going to do just a bit here for the deepest, darkest colors. It's going out to the center of the ocean. Oops. Have a few of those kind of overlapping as well to kind of blend those colors. Okay. Crap sticks there. Can get those in. Gosh, you guys, I'm excited about this. I hope it turns out. Don't know why it wouldn't, but you know, anytime I try something new, it's always exciting, but a little nerve wracking. <laughs> you just hope for the best. You just never know. Okay, let's see. Maybe we need, do we need a little bit of this, maybe kind of through here, combine those colors. There we go, and then I think we'll do that again. Or did I use all the light blue that I had over here? Combine these colors together. I want it to flow, I don't want it just to be solid lines. Um, gosh, it's looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Do I have any more white? Did I use all the white? Hmm. Nope, here's a bit more. Okay, I think it does need a little bit more for my wave. Come back through here. Do you see another place for a wave? Maybe out here somewhere? Or maybe, I don't know, what do you think? I've worked so hard trying to blend it, I don't wanna not too late now, I guess if it doesn't look right, but okay. Keep all those all those kind of more like that. Keep it more a little bit more uniform maybe. Just kind of some Okay, now the only other thing I left that I think of that I want to do is just take maybe a few more of these just clear sparklies. Hopefully I don't, I'm just going to sprinkle these kind of throughout. So like as if the sun was kind of maybe shining on it, it would give it a little bit of a glisten for some of this area that doesn't really maybe have a not sure if all these colors are going to show up super sparkly or not. Starfish. Okay. Let me look down here at it. I think it looks pretty good. Am I, am I doing this height wise? I feel like it's doing pretty well that way. Okay, so just a little bit of white right here, a little more. Okay, there, what do we think? What about here? Do we need more of this through here? The blue from underneath is kind of showing through. I think we'll come through and sprinkle some more of this. 
bring out more of this turquoise color. Kind of a lighter. Okay. All right. So now this resin that I've got made up is getting pretty warm. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it. And I don't think we need to add anything else. I think this tray is going to be just really beautiful. I can't think of anything that I that I can put in here that would just be floating. Um, unless you guys think we should add another starfish or something, we could maybe do that. Because that one, is that just not enough maybe? Do we want like a smaller, another one? That one's really not smaller, but maybe place it over here. Kind of resin it in. There we go. Try that. I'm going to start pouring a little bit of this over the top. I'm probably going to have to make up some more resin, but I need to get this one, get this one started with its pouring. I'm not sure what's going to happen as far as like bubbles go. I didn't really think about that because there is a lot of, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for bubble through here, I guess. But this is warm. I'm pouring it kind of slow, so let's see. Gosh, you guys, I think this is going to be really pretty when it's all done. It's probably going to be really heavy, too. It's all the rock and crushed, crushed glass. Or not. I guess there is no rock, but... So this really almost had enough to cover this whole thing. Made up here, but not quite. Yeah, not quite. All right. Wow, it's looking good so far. All right. Okay, so we got that poured. I'm going to spray a bit of, um, of alcohol over it. And... Gosh, it's looking really pretty, I think, guys. So, all right, so I'm gonna spray this in. Okay, there we go. I am gonna let this sit, and I am going to mix up more resin, and then I'll bring you back and we'll finish pouring, okay? I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, everyone, I'm back. I've made up some more resin. Um, the only thing I've done is I did go through and I just added a few more of the teeny tiny little seashells through here um, while the resin was still, you know, um, pretty soft and liquidy down here. So um, I've got some bubbles in here, but I'm not worried about it. We're going to just go ahead and start pouring this. I'm going to start at this end and this is kind of where we left off before. And I'm just going to go ahead now and just finish filling this all the way to the top so that it's flush. This mold is not overly deep, but deep enough to be able to do this project. So I've really enjoyed doing this and I'm excited to see this all cured. And um, not sure if I'm going to put an edge around it might come back in and do that or if I want to put any kind of handles on it I don't think I'm gonna do that just because it would kind of um, take away from some part of this if I did that but I will definitely probably put some rubber feet on it this is gonna be so pretty I feel like we could even hang it if we didn't want to Sit, sit, just sit it out, or it could be on a nice heavy duty plate stand or an art stand. It's so pretty. This extra little top of uh, resin here is gonna just really kind of make it have this more depth and kind of a really nice high glossy finish. Um, I'm gonna kind of come in and see what I've got if anything's poking out. Let's see, sometimes you can kind of go in the middle and fill it in without it forcing something to go over. Let's see if I can do that. Because you know it kind of shrinks back anyway. 
when it goes to cure, I have found, I don't plan to move this to my curing rack. I believe I'm just gonna leave it right here. I don't really wanna mess with it. If I can find a good, a good spot where it's not going to go over. Sorry, I'm just kind of talking to myself now as I finish this part up. I'm gonna, looks like I'm gonna be able to use all of the resin without going over. Let's see, do I see anything sticking out? Do you guys see anything sticking out? From your angle, I see this sticking out. everyone it's pretty much done it looks like um, that everything is pretty much covered in resin I don't really see anything much poking out maybe just a couple little spots and some of them I'm not even sure if they're um, they might just be small bubbles I'm going to take you off the stand now and bring you down and kind of show you this closer and see what you think all right I'll see you in a sec all right everybody here it is a little bit down closer. Um, you can see how all of the crushed glass is all in there. And you can't even really tell that it's all covered in resin, but it is, it's pretty much flush with the sides. See if you can see here how we've got the resin is pretty flush there. Do you see? This is about a nine and a half inch, almost a 10 inch tray. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited about this. I hope it turns out really well and I'm going to let it sit tonight and cure and then I will be back tomorrow to unmold it. All right. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Hello everybody. I'm back and our, um, little ocean scene with the crushed glass is all cured and it's pretty much smooth all the way across the top. I feel just a couple little bumps here and there so I might decide to come in and do a glaze over the top or I might just leave it. They're not um, significant enough to really matter. But I am super excited to get this out of the mold and see what it looks like as an actual tray and gosh Okay, I won't mess with those right now. It's always <laughs> maybe kind of an OCD problem. As I unmold and I see those, I just have a habit. I just want to pick them off. But okay, let's see how this turned out. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Get this out of this mold here. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's just beautiful. I am so happy with the way this turned out. Can you see the detail? There is the sand colored, um, well, I do with this light here. The sand colored crushed glass that we kind of created. And then this little bit of a wave that I was trying to make. And then our lighter colored water where it's supposed to be kind of shallow and then it gets deeper. This just turned out so beautifully. I don't know if you can see it like I can see it here in person. Um, I did go to some trouble in the beginning of blending these two colors, okay? So if I was gonna do it differently the next time, I probably would not add the white like I did here. If I was gonna add white, I would do it somewhere up here maybe, but not here, because then what it did is it made a line and that's exactly what I was hoping not to do okay but regardless it turned out just beautifully and I love it I haven't even looked at the back oh and there's the back with our mica powders even that's really beautiful <laughs> you can actually see where the where the crushed glasses has come through and it's made it kind of sparkly through there but the edges turned out great even the edges are really pretty I Wondered if I wanted to do uh, some kind of an edging around it, but you know what? I'm not gonna. I am just gonna leave it like this. I just am amazed by how it turned out. It's so beautiful. 
it's not very thick really but the amount of depth that you can see in here is just amazing I just really really love this even though this is large and we used a lot of the crushed glass it really doesn't take that much resin to do one of these so anyway gosh everyone let me know what you think I just I I just can't stop looking at it it's just so beautiful thank you all for joining me on this adventure and I appreciate all of you I appreciate your support your likes your comments and your subscriptions I just am having so much fun with this and these are the things I'd be doing anyway but now it's just fun bringing you all along with me and so I will see you the next time